Hey everyone, what is going on? This is Wilson. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of uh, Startup Insights. In this video, I'll be talking about you know bots. Bots have been a super hot topic in startups and tech and just all around every industry, right? And bots is pretty much stuff that automates everything. So here's a list of uh, you know bigger companies that are currently offering a bot. So are they available with a bot? Like Bank of America, they're coming up with a bot. So imagine being able to uh, not have to be on hold on, on like a customer service line when you lose your credit card anymore, right? You can just speak with a bot. These are bots that you can talk to through your Facebook Messenger. And recently I tried talking to one on uh, Hipmunk to plan my travels and they were super quick. It was, it got to the point and they showed me a list of tickets uh, that was the cheapest and exactly where I needed to be. As you can see, you know, HP has a bot, right? So with, uh, with bots for Messenger, HP consumers will be able to print the photos, documents, files, connected to any HP printer. So this is like like Wi-Fi on steroids. You know, we have all these other companies, operators, another famous company that, that was probably one of the originators of the bot, where they're helping you, you know, find the best price for certain items you're looking for online. So if I was looking for like a Jordan shoes or or like some sort of bag, I don't have to go and Google everything or go on Amazon, right? Operator will have somebody talk to me. Ideally it's a bot. I don't know if it's a real person behind it, but yeah. I mean, you can tell Phil's Coffee, one of my favorite coffee shops, they're coming out with a bot. Everything is coming out with a bot. Salesforce, Shopify, you can create e-commerce with bots. So, I mean, they're everywhere. Now you can, you know, StubHub, you can buy tickets with bots, right? And then you can get event updates, parking passes. I mean, this is this is pretty crazy. And the score, I mean, another famous app to get your, um, like, your, your sports, your sports data. Uh, then we'll be seeing news with bots. We, I think TechCrunch has a blog now. Has a bot now, uh, Wall Street Journal definitely, uh, and then now support is on there. So I mean, here's just a list of bots that you can use on Facebook Messenger. Um, I came across this other site right here called Botlist.co, and this is like like an app store for bots. I mean, look at how many different types of bots there are. Uh, there, there's one for Gary Vaynerchuk, and then there's one. Um, there's one for joy. I mean, these are like random stuff like analytics, customer support. You even got the like games on bots. You got maybe food. I don't know what Ginger Thailand does, but I'm assuming it gives you some sort of like uh, resource guide for finding the best food in Bangkok or something. Uh, you got payments. I mean, this is this is pretty uh pretty crazy. There, there's just bots everywhere, and people are actually selling this right now. It's so easy to code them now, and you got bots for SMS, etc. Right. So, uh, and then if you look at this one right here, Venture Beat, one of the most famous sites that most of you guys probably already know for covering startups, they held a conference based on bots. So we see people making money off bots now, not just from selling them, but you know, from throwing conferences, there's, there's a bunch of resources for bots, and you know, bots are all over the place. Um, there's bots for Slack, and it's just all over the place. So what do I see bots becoming? Like right here, customer support. I see the future for bots as um, more and more company is going to start using bots to to uh, automate their customer support. So imagine not having to stay on hold with American Airlines for like 20 hours and then not not to you know still not get results, right? So customer service definitely. Uh, I was talking to uh, Andrew Warner, the founder of Mixer Energy, and he told me that um, one of his uh, his fans was telling him that they were using a bot for uh, notification. So, uh, for example, like we, we will be seeing more marketing. Like two months ago, we saw that a lot of marketing um, strategies came with like, oh, seven day free email courses lead to some sort of sign up at the, at the end of the course. But now you can actually send, uh, create email courses or create these type of courses directly with Slack. So you can create a Slack bot that will send somebody a daily notification with a new tip. For example, if you're like selling real estate, you may want to teach people where's the what's the best way to find the find you know like your your next property, or if you're like a real estate investor community or something like that, right? You can create bots for this. If you're a CrossFit gym, maybe you can give people fitness tips or you know workout tips or workout uh, schedules or routines and stuff like that. So I definitely see bots. Uh, more and more companies are coming out with bots and more and more things are going to be automated with bots. I think it will eventually get to a point where we don't even have to, um, you know, go outside anymore. Everyone will, all these bots will just do everything for me. AIs will be talking to us. And I just, I just think that's the future. 
So that's my thoughts. You know, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Startup Insights. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more. You can follow me on Twitter at WilsonPen8 or on Snapchat at WilsonPen8. See you guys soon.